Okay, so here's the setup. I'm going to use these three metals as an example. I've covered magnetism before, so you can click on the screen wherever I put the link to see my previous video. Actually, one of my first videos. <laughs> These three metals that you see on the screen are examples of the three kinds of magnetism. Ferromagnetism, paramagnetism, and diamagnetism. Let's start with ferromagnetism. Iron is the most ferromagnetic substance, which is why it's called ferromagnetism. Okay, so I'm here in the kitchen, and here's some iron, and here's a magnet. If I put it close to the iron, it clearly attracts. I can try it with iron filings, and we get these amazing little structures that we can build on the sides. materials can actually be magnetized, as I showed in my video, Basic Principles of Ferromagnetism, with an iron nail. Unfortunately, I don't have any of that right now, so just, so just go watch that video by clicking on the iron, and it gives you 10 seconds to do so. Now paramagnetism. The most paramagnetic substance that I know of is aluminum. It's attracted to a magnet, but it can't be magnetized. Iron, on the other hand, can be magnetized because it's ferromagnetic. So you can see the light was a bit refracted through this giant beaker, and we can drop in the aluminum, but like, what the aluminum is doing is it, it's floating too much and it wants to go on its side, so to fix that, I'm going to have to take out the aluminum wire, and but it sinks, and so to fix that, so I'm gonna have to get that out. We have it here. Oh, see that? It's attracted. Magnetic materials is that uh, it's so weak that they cannot be magnetized. Then there's diamagnetism. Diamagnetism is a bit different because what they do is they're actually repelled from a magnet. Now, I just happen to have a small sample of bismuth lying around, so I could show you this. Now, now it's easy to see ferromagnetism, but then there's para but then there's paramagnetism, which is so weak that it has to be performed on an ice bath. A bit hard to see, even with the most diamagnetic, even with the most diamagnetic substance that I have, bismuth. And now a quick cleanup. Well, there we go. Well, there we go. So let's get out the bismuth. As I learned earlier, I can't just fill this with 
water. No, I, I have to take out the bismuth. But it's such a heavy metal that it would actually make it sink. Which isn't ideal for this. So I can, but actually, it might actually be just right and then take out. Remember, we're supposed to get a repulsion from the magnet. Even with one of the most diamagnetic materials, it's hard to see it. So there you have it, diamagnetism.